Hello, my Moon Tribe. My name is Haley, and I am from Moon Tribe Tarot. It is nice to meet you all. This is the very beginning of my YouTube journey here on YouTube. Duh. Um, <laughs> as I have not posted anything before. Um, I've been reading for six years, two of which have been professional. I was definitely feeling that this is the right time for me to start my further journey on YouTube to meet all of you. So this is for Virgo for the for the month of December 2019. This is a general reading. Anything can come up, work, love, whatever. Um, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as this is a general message. Not everything I say is going to be the message for you. Some parts of it might be for you, some parts might not be. If you would like a personal reading where the message is tailor-made with you in mind, I have linked all the description in the box. I have linked all the information to book a reading with me in the description box below. So without ver further ado, Virgo, let's get off with it. I'm um, socially awkward. Okay. I'm shuffling on camera so that you can see that I am doing it. I'm using the Mystical Manga Tarot deck I ran. So I do do a cross of truth, basis, desires, helpful, opposing outcome. If I need clarity, I will pull for it. Okay. All right, Virgo. Strap yourself in for this one. The basis. Let's get right into it. We have the Three of Swords. There was definitely a heartbreak in your area. Something has happened that has leave you devastated. The Three of the three of Swords would indicate to me a heartbreak, um, but more or less so in this deck, it represents the painful truth that would hurt. It doesn't necessarily have to mean abandonment or that you got left behind, but sometimes it usually does follow that line. Um, so in your basis, you definitely do have some sort of heartbreak that you are going through, that you are struggling with in the month of December 2019. This could also be residual. I am seeing a progress, um, forward progress in this spread. So I do feel like if it hasn't already happened, it this I'm going to I'm going I'm I'm going to say that I am pretty sure that this has already happened. Um, the Three of Swords to me indicates things in the basis why you're asking the question that has already happened for some of you it might not yet have happened for some of you it might not happen at all i don't want you to be here and going like because this has probably already happened for the majority majority of you um this betrayal this truth that came out probably already happened and your desires you have the magician so the magician, okay, I'm getting a very specific storyline. The magician is the purpose and potential in, in success that you have within yourself because the magician is yourself. If I were to be reading this for somebody else, it, it could be that you have somebody else on your mind. But for the most part, this is a very self-empowerment spread. I definitely see that in this case, the magician most likely represents you. So in the in the before, we had a painful truth that came in, and pro it probably might have cleared away at least some energies in your life. It might have left some things abandoned. I'm not going to say that for all of you, but for some of you, it definitely might have left things at a state where you might have had a little left. Um, but for some of you, not all of you, what was I saying? But for some of you, the magician comes up as um, this great new potential. Basically, the magician says that all the purpose in the world, in the suit of tarot, is at your disposal. So it's a really, really good empowerment card, especially when something very negative comes up. Because it kind of says, okay, that really fucking hurt. Time to work on myself now. So the desires is for all possibilities, for all potential. 
kind of, you want it all, and not only do you want it all, but you can manifest your reality to what you want by thinking of what you want. So like attracts likes. I don't know if any of you follow the law of attraction, but definitely to manifest your own reality into the way that you would like to see the most. You are very powerful manifestors, Virgo, in this month of December. I definitely see you having the possibility for whatever it is that you would like in your field for the month of December to be. But most likely it is going to be for self-empowerment, for growth, for uh, maturity, abundance, physical gain, uh, like financial gain. I say that because the Nine of Pentacles comes out and you're helpful. This is such an amazing energy to get after you have had a heartbreak. So it represents to me, I know this is this is kind of cliche where you get hurt and then the message is you got to work on yourself, girl, before you can love anybody else. But the message here is definitely to work on yourself. I do think this is a new energy because the magician is a one. Um, and then we have the empress later down the line, which is a three. These are new beginnings. This is probably very fresh or has just happened or hasn't happened yet, whatever it is, it is a new beginning. And I see that the route that you, route, route, the route that you are going to be taking Virgo is definitely one of self-empowerment. You are going to be using the magician's ability to manifest the power for yourself to work on yourself, be it at jo uh, be it at a job and home, I was gonna say job and home, Joan. So for a, a job at home, you are going to be manifesting physical and emotional abundance. The most important thing that I see here is that you are going to be manifesting emotional abundance. It's going to be like, yeah, you know what, this hurt, but I don't fucking need that in my life because I am my own power source. I am my own creator and I can create all the good things that I would like in my life to have. And I definitely see that happening for you. I would like for you to be very wary of setbacks because in the month of December what is going against you is the Empress which is odd to me because I would almost say that the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress have very very similar energy where she is very m more so the goddess the goddess the Empress is more of this divine nature and kind of our higher self and the Nine of Pentacles is more of our not our lower self but in our physical form so I kind of get this between uh, I kind of get a duality here. I kind of see that you are definitely putting the work into yourself. But I also kind of feel that in the same vein, that you are not heeding the message of something that needs to come in for you with the Empress. I feel like you are going to be harvesting prosperity and abundance and manifesting these things for yourself. But at the same time, I almost see you... This is very conflicting. I'm going to need to pull an extra card for this. Can I have a card for why the Empress came out in the opposing, please? Okay, we got the Hermit. <laughs> so the Hermit is introspection, isolation, taking yourself out of the game. So, I don't often say this. <laughs> I feel like you are going to get to a point where you, for some of you, this might resonate with some of you specifically. This is a very specific thing that I'm hearing that some of you are going to isolate yourself. I feel like some of you are going to be like, well, that's the last time I ever get fucking hurt again. Goodbye. No more relationships for me. I feel like you might be blocking off that power from yourself and I feel like you're going to hold it up. And I feel like that is against what your desires as your higher self is, because this is your higher self, this is your physical self. I feel like you're going to have um, physical and emotional abundance from yourself, but I also feel like you are going to exclude it from everybody else. I feel like, you, yep, here you go. <laughs> I feel like you are going to block yourself out. This isn't always, this isn't a negative card. The Hermit represents introspection, isolation, working on your own answers for yourself. But I do kind of feel that you are, you might be blocking yourself off to other people or the way that you are thinking of this is fuck people, fuck people, fuck people, fuck this, I don't want this ever again in my life, fuck that, I don't want that noise, I'm going to be me forever. I want you to be cautious of that and I'm, I'm 
the reason why I'm saying to be cautious of that is because you still came up as the Empress. You still have that power. You are a manifester. I feel like Virgo for you in the month of December, you're going to be very, very, very creative powerful um, manifestors and the message here uh, for, for the empress when you go through pain and trust me i understand because i'm going through the same thing when you go through pain it can take you out and you can become actually so comfortable with not having to deal with people that you just don't want to deal with people at all anymore and by doing that, I feel like you have, I'm going to get to this in a second, but I feel like you have power and skills as there's a lot of you reading, um, watching this right now that I feel like are going to be, that are called to a higher power. I feel like a lot of you are divine goddesses. I feel like a lot of you are healers. I feel like a lot of you are also tarot readers or people that are walking the light worker path. And I feel like if you isolate yourself and block yourself out to other people, you're also at the same time knocking down your own power, even though you think you are raising yours. It's hard because I'm not saying to not, I understand that when pain happens, when you want to ball yourself up and you're like, wait a minute, I can actually be okay with this. Like, fuck people. I feel like it is in your storyline very specifically this is a very specific storyline, and I feel that it is necessary to know. I feel like your job is to help other people. And I know this might be like a uh, like a cliche thing, like, I don't want to help other people, I just want to he help myself. I feel like part of your purpose is to help heal other people. You might be a nurse, you might be somebody that is a tarot worker, tarot worker, you might, yep, yeah, tarot sex worker, um, you might be... <laughs> TMI, you might be somebody that is in that realm of light worker where you are somebody that heals with your thoughts and emotions, most likely, likely your emotions. You are very kind, capable, sweet people, and I feel like the majority of you got burned bad and don't want to deal with it again. Be careful of how much you isolate yourself because I feel like a lot of your purpose as readers or as people that are healers I feel like it is in best interest for a lot of you to continue walking this path, to keep on... I'm going to go ahead and cut out really quick. But the ending message for you is definitely to not isolate... I know that you want to isolate yourself during this time, but I feel like as a reader, as somebody that is in that healing profession, it is of importance for you to continue walking your path and to at least try to incorporate other people's emotions during this time as... I feel like you are going to be blocking yourself off to your own source of inspiration in your own power at the same time while doing this, even though you very so kind of want to just be alone and not to deal with other people at this time. I'm not saying, you know, just go out and, and every night, go, go to parties, go drinking, just do the things that you don't want to do. Just be open to emotion. Do not exclude yourself as much as I feel like you want to do here. Um, so that is your message for December 2000. December 2019. If you would like a reading with me, if everything here resonated with you and you would like to hear your own private personal message, everything I have said, every, I can't talk, everything that I have listed down below for how to contact me for a reading is in the description box below. It was so nice reading for you, Virgo. Please have a happy holidays if I do not hear from here, if you do not hear from me until then, I probably will be doing mid-monthlies as well. So until then, peace out my moon tribes.